Hi, and welcome to Simple Spirituality PH. Now, for those of you who are new to my channel, my name is Eugene. I am an intuitive, manifesting-based tarot reader. I am a certified Reiki healer and an overall light worker. And before we dive into today's episode, I would like to invite everyone who would like to receive notifications on my new videos to please hit the subscribe button below. If you like this video later on, please give it your, <coughs> excuse me, thumbs up. If you have any comments, suggestions, you want to say hey, uh, just comment down below. And if you would like your very own tarot reading or Reiki healing session with me online for now, of course, we'll hear the details. Alrighty, so let's get to the meat of the video, which is the Dream Cap uh, Keeper's Tarot by Liz Huston. Now, this deck, the, the box is quite huge, so it's almost as big as the box of the Magical Dog's Tarot. And, um... <clears throat> if I'm not mistaken, the Lion Strider, <clears throat> excuse me, I have a bug in my throat today. Apologies. Anyways, so as you can see, this is a very interesting deck, and I wanted to do an unboxing of it, but I used it yesterday, <laughs> so it's not an unboxing anymore. So let's just open it. It's actually pretty difficult to open, I'll, I'll be honest. <clears throat> It's a perfectly beautiful eggshell color inside, and I'd really do appreciate that. And the colors are very, very um, macabre, to be honest. This is actually one of the most macabre decks I've ever owned. I don't usually buy decks like these, but if you look at the back, the lover's card, or the, the fate, sorry, card is the one that really reeled me in because of its um, beauty. Okay. So off the bat, it does come, let me focus, it does come with this huge booklet. It is actually very weighty, and I do appreciate the, sorry, just to, let's go back to the box first. I do appreciate the intricacy of the box. Look at this pattern here, it's so beautiful. I would want that as wallpaper for my room. And you have the centered cards here, the back of which are also very beautiful. Kind of like an Elizabethan theme, um, mixed with mixed with um, mandalas. Okay, we'll get to that later. Now let's focus on the booklet. The booklet is one of the heaviest booklets I have ever had for a tarot deck. Not even the Line Strider booklet is this heavy, but I appreciate its heaviness because it does feel like it's a premium. And anything that's heavy actually will make us automatically think that it's a premium. And off the bat, you can see the illustrations are very, very intricate. <clears throat> Sorry, as I told you, I have a frog in my throat today. And um, so yeah, let's take a look. Oh, I didn't notice that. I didn't notice that there was a little bit of um, wrinkling going on, but that's fine. So I like that there is a table of contents because it is such a thick book. And I actually did open this the other day to read a little bit about the preface. And um, the creator, Liz Huston, she, there was something very important that she wrote down around here. Um, it's basically, let me zoom again. It's basically what happened in her life while she was creating this deck and she has gone through so many struggles while creating this deck and I do appreciate the fact that she was able to express all of those things everything that happened to her the good the bad you know the ugly in this interpretation of the tarot for her so I'm sending you love and light Liz Huston thank you for creating for being able to express yourself through your art and through tarot so there's an introduction, and you have actually the basics, which um, is very cool. And you have this, you have the setting the space and interpreting the cards. So I think that it's, I haven't gone through these, these parts yet, but I think that it's a very, the way that it's written is very poetic. And so um, it's not going to be a kind of like one is to one thing, kind of like um, an instruction, but of number one you know, um, open the, the box, number two, um, pull out the cards. It's not gonna be like that. 
So there's a very poetic kind of instructional text going on, which I do appreciate. I love that because it makes me feel like I'm reading an actual book and it makes me feel like there's some thought put into it. Um, or rather, not really thought, but there's more thought rather put into it. And like, this is very similar to a lot of decks. They do have like sample tarot spreads, which is cool. And this is pretty cool, choosing between two paths. And this or that. This is what I do every day on Simple Spirituality page. Follow me there. I do a free card a day for everyone. A card pull. Ooh. So this card deck, this card booklet has a lot of um, spreads. Like one, two, three, four, five, six. Six spreads. Beautiful. And as you can see, um, it's black and white and there is an illustration which actually when you look at it if you look at it it looks like it is hovering I have no idea how you do that but it does look like it's hovering it looks like it's in 3d which is pretty cool and um, you have like a little text here and you have an explanation which is pretty standard for all decks this is a little bit extra, divinatory message and keywords. I like that there are keywords. But remember, these interpretations are not the one all be all. Your interpretation will still depend on what the question is, what the energies are. But these are just guidelines, basically. And yeah, so that's basically the booklet. We won't go through the booklet because I know that you're dying to see the cards already. There is also an index, which I do appreciate, and and about the author and acknowledgments. All right, so let's get to it. I have not seen all of the cards yet. I've seen some, but not all of them. So without further ado, I know there's a lot of glitter. Please bear with me. Without further ado, here are the Dreamkeepers Tarot cards. bring it closer so as you can see guys the back is reversible let me adjust the camera for you just a little bit there we go so that you can see it much better. There we go. There we go. Okay. I do like this chariot card. I love that she's holding like heads in her in her hand, kind of like um, portraying the two sides of her brain. You know, like the left and the right the yes or the no, the this or the that. This is also beautiful. This is the first time that I've actually seen strength, the animal in strength as a snake. And exactly how much strength you really, really need to have. Because remember, in um, the traditional rider weight, it's the person is against um, a lion. But this one really shows you how constricting, literally, it is when you find yourself in a situation where you need to um, exemplify strength. So I appreciate that a lot. I appreciate this hermit too. It's one of the less um, lonely <laughs> kinds of hermits. I actually like the dress too, it's cute. Uh, this is the one that reeled me in the fades. These are beautiful. I love that they're unraveling very much so in a way that you unravel your own life, right? Because in reality, there aren't really fates. It's only just um, your energy. I like this too. And the fact that she is a broken egg and that justice is a she. My interpretation of justice is from Neil Gaiman's um, Sandman. So it's a he. I, I like that the this time it's not a hanged man, it's a hanged woman. 
So this is very female forward as well. And as you can see, um, she's naked. She's almost naked, I hope. This isn't a problem. <laughs> Death. Death here is very beautiful. And I love that she's encapsulated in like an auric kind of egg, egg shell, egg petal. I'll call it an egg petal. It looks like an egg petal. And that she's actually a piece, if you can see. I don't know if you can see the expression. Let me zoom. She's actually a piece. Oh, this is cool. This is a very cool card. Temperance. And it shows you really um, how far your patience will go. Oh, this is beautiful, too. This is very romantic. Oh, this is beautiful. Actually, these two cards are gorgeous. This is beautiful. It's a very beautiful description of how temptation is. You know, it's you like temptation in, in general. Like people people don't do things because they feel bad, right? People do things because they feel good. And that is what temptation is. That is what the devil is, you know, um quote unquote. And over here you're being shown how destructive a change can be from the inside. How beautiful. Oh, so this is a star. I actually did not get that. But I think that's fine. The moon. Beautiful, sorry, beautiful. Oh, I like, I love this sun. It's golden and it's, it's just pretty. We have the world. Now we go to the suits. So these are your first ace aces, your ace of wands. She looks like she's in an apothecary. She's probably in an apothecary. Two of wands. I like this. Three of wands. How beautiful. This is pretty. Four of Wands. Oh, I like the rigidity in this. Five of Wands. Okay, let me stop narrating. Now we go to the cups. This is actually pretty cute, and the um, it reminds me of something nostalgic. It's very nostalgic, rather. Oh, I love this. I love how it's being shown that um, emotions can sometimes be a kind of like um, not really a two-way street, but. See how this person, see how the man in the picture is very stable and he's tethering the woman to the ground. So it's very much logic versus emotions kind of thing, even if it's a cups kind of thing. Oh, this is beautiful. I love this, especially in the context of a relationship. Um, this is what we often do sometimes, ladies. I mean, I'm not. Of course, I'm generalizing, um, but based on what the kinds of clients, the kinds of love questions that clients give me, this is usually what happens. And I've also been in this position in the past where I've been overthinking of what my, my partner has been thinking. You know, my um, ex-partners, of course, but yeah. This is beautiful, too. I actually like that she's not walking away from it for the first time. She's kind of like just thinking about it. <laughs> Nostalgia. And take note, the flamingo. Is this a flamingo? The flamingo is actually dead. I mean, it's in skeletal form, meaning that it has expired. And so nostalgia really is something that has been in the past and is currently not alive. There are so many 
Are these apples? Oh, I thought they were apples. There are so many levels. This is a breath of fresh air. The Eight of Cups. What a beautiful scenery. For majority of it, it's been macabre, but now we're getting to a place where it looks like it's a little more light. Nine of Cups. Yes, definitely. Oh, beautiful. Ten of Cups. And now we go on to the swords, which is actually, fun fact, I am not a fan of the swords. They're, they're, they're just the most um, difficult for me to read because there are so many interpretations. Mm, I like this. Look at how she's holding a heart, but she has no head. So there's really, in this context, it's like... You're not, even though the swords is traditionally a mental kind of thing, the lack of the head here is really saying a lot that it's only just, you're only just making your heart work and not your head. This is actually really pretty. And, sorry, let's go back. I love how serene the background is, which really um, connotes rest. Oh, this person's a peacock. Okay. okay. Let's pick up the pace a little bit. Sorry, you know, I've been chatting. Ooh. Very dramatic. Oh, wow. Still very graceful. And now we go to the pentacles. Is there? Okay. Okay. Oh. It wants to be read Six of Pentacles. So don't be blinded by the things that you see off the bat. Still think about it. I love that the pentacles here are green to match her. She looks like Cara Delevingne a little bit. Don't you guys think so? Oh, this is cute. It's cute. All right, and now you have wands. The pages. Oh, yeah, I didn't notice that actually. That all of the pages, the court cards, were um, reserved for the back. So this is the King of Wands. Every, yeah, every every suit started with a suit uh, with a yeah with a suit with, with an ace. Now we get to the cups. This is very female forward, which I adore. Knight of Cups. Even the knight is a woman. There are very few male characters in this deck. I love that the cups have no heads. Queen. Is there a king? Yes, there is a king. But the queen is last. Good. Beautiful. I'm down for it. See, the king comes first. And then the queen comes last. Very, very female forward. Very empowering. I love it. I love her dress, actually. I want it. I want that dress. But I also love that she's made of stone. You know? Like, she's not an actual person. She's the only um, character that's not an actual person. So far. Because, usually, when you're a queen of swords, if you um, describe yourself as a queen of swords, you are mostly in your head. You have a mastery of your mind. Not really your heart. Okay, pentacles. And the last one. Queen of beautiful, bountiful. Queen of pentacles. So you guys, this deck is pretty interesting. Not gonna lie. Oh, as you can see, again, 
these are reversible. If we turn it the other way, we will never know that this was in reverse. So beautiful. And the color too, this is a very difficult color to make you guys, like Pantone wise. Um, I think if I'm not mistaken, I could be wrong. Okay, I could be wrong. But like for example, when I'm making colors for resin pieces or something like that, um, this would be a pretty difficult color for me to replicate. But yeah, I like that off the bat. I like that it's somber. I actually do like the fact that it's very macabre. This would be very good for shadow work, very good for um, in-depth readings, because there are so many layers. This reminds me actually of the Line Strider. This could actually be the opposite of the Line Strider for me, per personally. There are so many things to, there are so many messages to be read here. And I like that the symbolism speaks very, very loudly in this deck of cards. There, it will really force you to focus on the message at hand and, you know, like, not just rely on the traditional meanings of these cards, but really and truly focus on what is the message and what is the energy that is being, um, that is being sent, that is being, that is wanted to be read, actually. Uh, some of the cards actually scare me, I'm not gonna lie. But, I think that'll pass. <laughs> yeah, the zombie tarot deck didn't scare me, but this one, some of the cards actually do scare me, because they're a little too macabre for my taste, but I do like this deck overall. And I love, um, even the scary ones, like, even the cards that scare me are, like for example, the High Priestess here is actually very scary because she looks so straight, you know? And I am a High Priestess. My, my significator is a High Priestess, and yes, there's a part of me that's like this, but at the same time, it's like, she looks like she's gonna cut you or something like that, you know? So that scares me a little bit, but it's fine. I mean, it's, I'll, I'll get over it. <laughs> So yeah, I think I'm going to be using this deck for quite some time, and yeah, I'm excited. It's very easy to shuffle as well. It has a semi, semi matte finish, again, which makes it easy to shuffle, but it's a very thick deck, so uh, let's try shuffling it now. So I'm going to do it in reverse, okay? So this is how I shuffle, you guys, so this is a bonus for you. Um, if I want my cards in reverse, I take it in half like that. So they're facing the same way, right? And I do this to the other half so that they're facing opposite directions now, right? Flip it over. And so <clears throat> remember, when you flip it over, it's gonna be in a different direction. Oh, wait. It's supposed to be yes perfect okay. it's supposed to be oh no 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 guys I'm confusing myself it's so early in the morning so it's supposed to be this way because I'm going to be flipping it that way right yes okay there we go so basically before you shuffle you just want the both of your thumbs to show opposite directions the cards just flip them over so they're supposed to mirror each other like this, but when you do this, they're supposed to be in the opposite direction, right? If you want a reversal kind of um, shuffling. So let's do that now. Oh, very difficult to do the arch, but the shuffling is great. And see, now you have reversals mixed with an upright card. So yeah, that's it. I hope this was insightful for you, or I hope this was enjoyable rather for you. Um, let me know what you think about this deck and if you have your own deck and what your experiences have been. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any comments, suggestions, you want to say hey, please comment down below. If you would like to receive notifications on my new videos, please hit the subscribe button below. And if you would like your very own tarot reading or Reiki healing session with me, online friend of course, we'll hear the details. And that's it. Stay happy, stay healthy, 
you know, check out this deck and check out all my other um, unboxing and two cents worth videos on other decks. And yeah, see you guys next time. Bye.